What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Wonderless Films. Okay, so today's video is all about photo competitions, photo contests. Brands and companies are constantly having uh, uh, photo competitions um, where you post a picture, or you take a picture, or you use one of your pre-existing uh, photos uh, and tag them and you could win cool stuff. So Epidemic Sound has been doing a photo competition. Um, it's about winning a DJI Mavic Air. Um, it's You're supposed to be photographing something that you would love to shoot with a drone to add spice to your videos. Um, if you don't know the company Epidemic Sound, they are a great company. Uh, what you do is you can sign up for a YouTuber subscription and you pay a monthly fee and you get access to their entire library. Um, it's great music. It's, mu it's music, by the way. Anyways, you get access to their whole library of music. Uh, it's dope music. I love listening to it, even as like ambient sounds, like just on my own, um, not working on a video. I've been using Epidemic Sound for a while now. You can sign up for a free trial. I signed up for the free trial and I never stopped it. I just was like 100% I'm going to be paying for this. So when they came out with this competition, I thought it would be a, a great example of what you can actually uh, do with these photo competitions and what your mentality should be going into the photo competitions. Now winning the gear, winning the prize is super cool. but I think there is a hidden or less looked at advantage of actually participating in these photo competitions, especially as a starting photographer or a filmmaker. As a starting photographer, you're trying to boost up your portfolio, so when brands come to you or when you want to go to a brand to see if you could land that job, you have stuff to back you up. It's not just, hey, I'm a great photographer, I've been photographer. Uh, Photo photographing. <laughs> I've been photographing stuff for about two years now and anyways you can say that and you that can be true but the brands aren't gonna want to trust you because they're paying you for this thing and if they turn out bad and they can't use your pictures because they were bad um, that's money down the drain for that brand or company so is that my hair? So having a solid portfolio backs you up. A portfolio is definitely needed when you're starting photography or starting to try and land jobs. I'm currently trying to boost up my portfolio and get it better. Starting to build up your portfolio can be very difficult because no one is telling you what to photograph, um, giving you assignments, giving you stuff to do. It's all you. You have to come up with the picture you want. You have to come up with the idea. It's all on you. And for some of us, um, that's kind of difficult trying to find, you know, what to do, what's next, and trying to step up that, step up your portfolio in a timely manner instead of just taking a good picture here and there. You want to be like weekly um, taking a good picture. So, so where does the where does the photo contest or competitions come in handy? Well, participating in these photo competitions gives you a project to do, gives you a reason to go shoot. I would have never shot that picture, taken this picture if Epidemic Sound was never doing this giveaway or this photo competition. I would have never said, you know, I'm going to take a picture of a place I would love to fly a drone, you know? Because that wouldn't really make sense if I took that picture and I posted that picture. No sense at all. But by then doing this photo competition, I was out there in the field gathering experience, learning. Um, one of the things that I say all the time is do, fail, learn, repeat. Um, and you can't do that if you're not doing. If I'm just sitting at home looking at other people's amazing photographs, I can't learn from other people's photographs except what a good photograph does look like. But but I can never start taking those good photographs if I'm not out there learning and gathering experience from learning from my own experiences. I could never do that. So gathering experience is great and that offers more to back up you. But you can't do that if you're not taking pictures. And I think that's the very simple goal with entering these photo competitions is not to win these prizes 
is to actually get out and be taking pictures and it gives you a project that you didn't really have to come up with and it might push you to do something different pushing push you to do something more than you thought you could um, so with that the next time you see a photo contest don't go in it for the gear or the prize go in it for the experience that is what is going to make the difference that's going to be more valuable than the prize you know if I win this DJI Mavic Air yeah I'm going to love it and it's going to boost my videos probably I would love to get some drone shots in my video I've been wanting to get a drone for a while now and yeah it would be great but I think what is more valuable is the whole experience and the stuff that I learned while on this shoot so right now I'm going to share with you what I learned from doing this photo shoot um, it was interesting I would say um, it wasn't I, I'm not super a hundred percent happy with the photo I think it does relate to the photo competition a lot so I went into this week um, on Monday thinking I would have this whole week to kind of plan out this picture but then I realized that it was gonna storm all week and Monday was like the only okay-ish day so I went out on Monday and I kind of already had an idea um, I live in farmland it's ridiculous how many farms there are around me so I always thought uh, since I saw this uh, post on Instagram from my one friend um, he was in an airplane or something and he took a picture kind of bird's eye view and I thought that would be so cool to get with a drone that 100% framed up you know nice because he's kind of on an angle you know anyways so I always thought that would be super cool to shoot with the drone is the farms and so I, that's what I wanted to take a picture of was the farmlands the farms yeah you get the point anyways but I didn't really have a comp composition in mind I had no idea so on Monday afternoon I'm just driving up and down roads through valleys um, over bridges it was crazy I and and I really didn't find a composition that I absolutely loved I did finally land on this one picture that I thought was very good and really well put together for the contest so so the main thing I learned from this experience this photo shoot was to always have a plan or some sort of plan it's always nice uh, when you're doing something and you say hey that's a great photo you grab your camera and you take the picture and it's a banger it's so awesome to do that but when you're doing stuff for a brand or a client or something like that it's so important to actually plan some of your pictures and that I should get better at planning pictures and having a good thought of what I want the picture to look like inside my mind or the place where I'm gonna take the picture so with that being said a hundred percent plan your pictures, and that's the thing I learned from this photo shoot and I don't think that I would have learned that if I wasn't if I was doing something else so a hundred percent don't go into the mentality of joining a, or participating in a photo contest with the mindset of I want to win this instead take that project have it be oh that'll be cool a hundred percent doing it go out get a little experience get more photography experience if you go into a photo competition with that mentality you always win all right I think that is it for this video if you want to check out epidemic sound I'll link them in the description below if you want to follow me on Instagram I'll also link those that'll be down in the description everything like normal if, all right that is it for this video like comment subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Oh, and one more thing this video was not sponsored by epidemic sound at all um, I do really love this company I just kind of wanted it to look like it was sponsored but it is not this video is not sponsored at all uh, I would love for it to be sponsored but sadly it is not